After six seasons, Cobra Kai finally directly addresses Mr. Miyagi and Daniel LaRusso's idolization of him by retconning some details of Miyagi's past. Throughout the show, Miyagi's philosophies around karate become the pillars of Daniel's dojo and his entire worldview. So when Daniel finds a hidden box filled with mementos that indicate Miyagi had darker secrets than he let on, the pedestal Daniel had built for his mentor begins to form cracks in its foundation. Thematically, the storyline is probably a much needed snap to reality Daniel needs to find the balance in his life, but it also gives us an interesting way to view the Karate Kid star, offering us a mysterious and exciting backstory that brings the character to life again. When Daniel finds the suspicious old box containing Miyagi's possessions in Season 6, Episode 3, he and Chosen are very reluctant to open it. After Amanda urges them to open it, the three are faced with a newspaper clipping, a headband, a rundown passport, a pair of boxing gloves, a coin, and some scrolls. The newspaper clipping headline reads, Police Search for Assailant, and underneath detailed how a robbery of a necklace and an assault had left the victim hospitalized. The group initially believed this to be Miyaki's brother, but this horror is compounded when a quick check of the tattered passport reveals that it is actually their idol. Although the pair are initially in denial, they eventually cannot deny the fact that their mentor had some skeletons in his closet, and slowly begin grappling with the details presented to them. As no further details are given, Daniel obsessively turns these scant pieces of information over and over in his mind, eventually shattering the idolized image he had of his mentor. Daniel had channeled Miyagi's teaching into every facet of his life, from how he guides his own students to his basic worldview. He always strives to find a harmony and balance, only using karate as a way to defend and facilitate peace, rather than as an offense. As such, finding out Miyagi kept certain things from Daniel felt like a betrayal, completely blindsiding him this close to the prestigious Sakai Takai tournament. But with Amanda pointing out that it's perfectly healthy and normal for people to withhold certain details from others, Daniel finally allows himself to acknowledge that Miyagi is just like every other fallible man, prone to mistakes and keeping secrets, further deconstructing the deity-like figure Daniel had built in his mind. It may also balance out Daniel's strict worldview, possibly facilitating more empathy and a connection to Johnny Lawrence in a way he could not have done previously. While Cobra Kai is certainly rich in ludicrous action and drama sequences designed for glamour rather than credibility, the fact that Miyagi had this secret past in the first place is not as ridiculous as it may initially seem. Though we don't quite know the intimate details yet, the sudden interest in Miyagi's past promises us a thrilling final season of Cobra Kai, particularly in terms of Daniel's development. 